one topic that I that I want to kind of like talk about. It's actually two topics, but uh, um, the 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 one will lead into the other. So so honesty, right? I I think honesty is like such a powerful trait, and I find that uh, you are a very honest guy with like the information that you share online. Um, and I was wondering, like, were you always like that? Were you always very honest? And if not, like, when did it change and like, why did it change? Hmm. <laughs> Great question. And yeah, it's become a, it's become a pillar in my life now, uh, the idea of being radically honest, completely honest about everything. Um, I believe that everything that we do, the behaviors that we um, sort of embody in our outer world are really just a reflection of our inner world. So like, if you're not honest with yourself, you tend not to be honest with the outside world. And so the practice is really the cultivation of inner confidence, inner acceptance, inner self-love, um, inner honesty, being completely honest with ourselves. And I don't think I've always been completely honest with myself in some way. So one of those is an example I already spoke about was like, you build a business for 10 years and you're doing the things and you at a surface level, everything looks like it's good. But when you genuinely, genuinely be honest with yourself, it's like, am I loving this? It's like, fuck no, I would rather be somewhere else. Like, I don't want to wake up at eight o'clock and have all these meetings and have a team and do this stuff. So a part of me wasn't really honest with myself, but I kept on going anyway because of whatever my story was, have to make money, have to be this guy, have to be whatever. And so that time in my life, I wasn't 100% honest with myself and it was reflected in my outer relationships. I wasn't always 100% honest in how I moved in my business dealings. I wasn't always 100% honest in terms of how I moved intimately with my partners. Um, some of that was some of that was more blatant than others. There's like this little gray area, which um, I've spent a lot of time looking at. This is also sometimes wrapped up in a story. I'll give you an example. Um, perhaps in my intimate connections, um, if I was connecting with somebody like a woman, I would want to perhaps get my needs met. But my real honest truth underneath that was like, I wanted to be lovers with her, but I didn't want to have a long-term relationship. And if I got a sense that she wanted something more than just intimacy i would be like maybe a little bit economical with the truth for want of a better word of like i would say something like you know i'm not so sure if this is what i want but let's see where it goes where my truth when i turn into my genuine truth and i have the courage to say it it's like hey i don't see us being anything else except lovers for the next however long it feels good for us but i don't see us being boyfriend and girlfriend and i definitely want to see other people I never really had the honesty to be able to navigate it that clearly and that openly. So wrapped up in a story that I maybe didn't want to hurt her feelings. And I also wanted to get my own needs met. I would probably not necessarily be as completely honest and forthright as I should be. And um, yeah, that came back to me at some point, a couple of years later when um, I connected with somebody who I felt deeply in love with. And I, you know, I was head over heels. I thought this is the one we're going to spend our lives together and during our connection, she would share that, um, yeah, we're gonna, we were together for three months and then we were going to go our separate ways and come back together afterwards. And every time we spoke about meeting in South Africa, which was going to be our plan, we spent time, the three months we spent together was in Thailand. She said, okay, well, we'll see each other in South Africa. Some part of me was like, mm, didn't feel 100% right. Like I couldn't quite, she was saying all the right things, but some part of me was like, I don't feel but I didn't listen to myself. I was just like, well, this is the woman of my dreams. I'm going to do this. Anyway, we went our separate ways in Bangkok th after three months together. And we never saw each other again. And she pretty much ghosted me after that as she carried on with her life and she, she ended it there. But that was such a strong reference point for me to realize that she had done to me what I had been doing to other people, women in my life for so many years. And it was like, she didn't have the courage to say, listen, bro, amazing loving this and it's only for the next three months because after that i'm going somewhere else i don't want to have anything else to do with this or you or i've got somebody else or whatever her truth was she didn't share her truth so i'm left now holding all of this mess which i realize is what i had done in my relationships for a lot of my life and so that was an important turning point seeing and feeling that 